I can't tell you how many funerals I have done of young people that I looked at on Monday, alive and well and breathing, and I had to bury them on a Saturday. This is not how it's supposed to be in urban communities. This is wrong. I'm Pastor Omar Jaw, and I'm the executive director and the CEO of Urban Specialists. We believe as urban specialists that safety is the primary measure of whether a community can survive. The best way to help a struggling community is to empower the individuals that are inside that community to be the change. You have guys who run the gangs. We say, can you drop your product and pick up ours? We say, can you become a part of our network? Anton Lucky is the epitome of an urban specialist. I grew up in the projects. Uh, my mother was 16 uh, when she had me. I didn't have many good role models. Me and a couple of my friends, cousins, we said we were going to be blood gang. We were going to be the bloods. Eventually, I was sentenced to prison for a lot of the stuff that I was doing. And then in prison, this guy pulled me to the side and said, little brother, you're a leader. And that was something I had never heard. And he said, if you can lead these, these dudes to do wrong, you have the power to lead them to do right. I attribute my transformation to him. Had that individual not agreed to mentor me, I can't say if I would be sitting here doing this interview with you right now. It was the, the touch from an individual who seen something in me. That's the basis of the Urban Specialist Program. Our mission is to give every kid a real opportunity. That if you put a kid in the right environment with the right tools, that kid would develop to his highest potential. That's what we believe. That's what we do. That's what we do every day. We will say to a school, if the buses are not safe, we'll ride the bus. If the in-school suspension is not safe, we go in the in-school suspension and say, we got that. So they sent us some of their most challenging kids. And so what perfect opportunity for our guys who uh, have tough backgrounds to work with those kids. We have 50 urban specialists working in 18 different schools. No one knows how to keep a kid out of a gang better than someone who ran a gang themselves. In the schools, when we engage, there's a decrease in truancy. There's a measurable decrease in disciplinary actions. There's a decrease in violence. In the communities, the violence goes down. We've partnered with law enforcement to, uh, to go into communities, to bridge the gap between law enforcement and community. We host a, a series of community conversations we bring in lawyers, judges, prosecutors, and we introduce them to the community so that we foster the dialogue between community and that profession. Our families, our kids, our communities, they appreciate that, I mean, they really do. There is nothing greater than to live in a community without fear. <laughs> yeah, we go way back. Yeah. <laughs> this is a man right here. Way back, man. Way back, oh, yes, sir. Man. A fearless community becomes a powerful community because they start seeing things as solvable. I think the most important thing that everyone should know is that transformation is possible. And we are here to make it happen. There comes a moment where the change is here, not coming. Where change is absolutely here. And this is that moment.